Right guys and girls, Mark Costa here, more questions coming at you. Frank is asking, I always struggle with swinging too fast, he says. The problem uh, um, is exaggerated, <laughs> I can't say that word. Now, it's exaggerated basically. Now by getting old and simply not being able to keep up with myself, how do I slow down? Is merely try to swing slower? Or he says, and then goes on and says, I just, I'm leaving time to swing, to second guess everything. Uh, again, I, it's, it's, a fu it's one of these questions I didn't think really exists anymore, but we're gonna deal with it. In, uh, in the alternative, what's a good way of establishing a good tempo at the beginning of a round? So you're doing the best thing to slow down, Frank, which is getting older, because that's the thing that slows everyone down. Getting older will generally slow people down. Um, so you're gonna have no option as you keep getting older and hopefully keep paying. Getting slow is not what you want to be, going slow is not what you want to be doing. You want to be going as fast as you can while retaining any kind of level of strike. Why you want to hit the ball shorter makes no sense. Now, if you're, if you're relating going faster to having no, say, club face control, left or right, then you want to establish a hold, a setup, a swing that allows you to get club face control at your full speed. You don't want to be leaving speed out on on the table. Uh, and it's one of these things where you get people like, oh, remember Ernie Howe swinging, everyone say, oh, it looks so slow, but it's effortless distance. He's hitting the ball really hard. His club head speeds are astronomical. Now, it looks slow, but he looks slow. He walks around in a slow, relaxed way. It's like his manner. Um, and then you'd have someone like Nick Price who would swing look, you know, much brisker and quicker. But again, I don't know his club head speed because it wasn't talked about so much back then, but he'd have been hitting it far enough. He's a major champion. Establishing why your bad shots are coming and disassociating them so much with what you're calling as speed would be your real skill. Because at the end of the day, what you want to do is go as fast as you can. Like how fast can you go and still sustain some level of strike and control and then play at that. Last thing you want to be doing it is slowing down. It, it, this is an interesting one. I'm, I'm guessing, this is just a guess, I might be wrong, maybe post comments, Frank, down below. Um, no, I'm not guessing, he is older. He says he's older, isn't he? He's an older person. This is quite an older idea of uh, having, you know, swinging too fast creates bad shots. It, it's, I don't see that as a rule. I see bad low point control, bad club face control, those kind of things as creating bad shots. It's the connection that people make that trips them up and gets them going down this kind of bit of a dead end, really. Kind of an answer, isn't it? Maybe not the one you wanted, unfortunately, but let me know if it helps. Post comments down below.